Welcome everybody to the Fiber Friends Knitting Podcast. I'm Louise from Wildflower Wool. Hey everybody, I'm Cheryl from My Needle Crafts. So what have you been working on this week? Uh, not a whole lot. <laughs> I know, I feel like that's the same thing too. I do have a couple little finishes though. Oh good, show me, show me, show me. Yeah. Oh, More I love scrubbies. those together. Yeah, is that your, that's what you dyed on our dyeing challenge? It is. The, it is the very last little bit of that variegated, dyed it with the red dye. What was the um, oh. fuchsia, eggplant, Kelly green? Correct. Yes. <laughs> yep. So I did one big cloth and I striped my hand dyed two rows and then some of the watermelon red heart the sparkly scrubby yep. sparkly scrubby sparkle scrubby scrubby sparkle something along that something. line it's got sparkle in it oh i have a ball right here yeah what's this scrubby, scrubby sparkle scrubby sparkle it's like plastic <laughs> but it is scrubby it makes good scrubbies yeah, yeah. These so are i great. really like this because nice. remember i think i had this started did I start this or I was going to start this last week? I can't remember now. I don't think I might have started could. it after. Yeah. But I love it. Well, that's not bad with the cotton and the... Because the last together. one you made was with the scrubby and the scrubby sparkle together. Yeah. That's what I made. Oh, reach. I'm going to tie my ends in. Yes. So the two kind of eyelashy yarns together. Yeah. Is yours really, really thick? Yeah. Not, not too bad. No. Mine felt... Like my mine almost like feels this. more scrubby power than mine because of the two rows yeah. together, like well, two rows of. And because, oh yeah, oh well, maybe because that is what do I want to say? Scrubby, scrubby is like really fluffy too, right? Yeah. My cotton's not as fluffy. Yeah. Which makes the sparkly, the plasticky part. More. I don't like plasticky part. <laughs> the scrubby part. Yeah more pronounced maybe i don't know but yeah. it's, it's nice it work, it's gonna be a good scrubby oh, great so you did a little oh, one too yeah i did mine a little longer than yours yeah. i wasn't sure there's no i wasn't sure how far to go so i just kind of went square i don't know it works yeah and i just did mine more of a rectangle yeah. thinking it'll just sit like and this then i and started then. another one last night i'm almost done see look i could cast off and be the same size it would you. be yep they're like so quick Six, okay. mil six millimeter needle. Yeah. US so, 10. Yep. 15 stitches. Yeah. And I think I did. Yeah. 15 uh, stitches and that many rows. I did that in like 20 minutes. Yes. Uh, like, minute. <laughs> these are the fastest gifts you could ever make. <laughs> and this used up my last little bit. After oh, I finished this, like the scrubby sparkle, it is going forever. Yeah. And I, there's a lot of yardage on there's this. There's a ton. But my cotton. I did this, had, you know, a little bit left. I cast on my 15 stitches and I kind of eyeballed to where I was about halfway, mm -hmm. cast it off, cast on the other one. And I ended up with just like a little tiny tail left. Yeah. That's like 159 meters in a ball of this. Yeah. So you got to pause for a sec. Kids, they're always beckoning for something. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. I, this is making me feel like my Christmas gift giving is officially underway. Yes, that's. I hope everybody likes them as near as I'm, you know, as much as I'm liking knitting them. For sure. I don't know why they wouldn't. I know. I think that'd be nice. <clears throat> what else you got? My shawl. This is what I've been working on the most this week. That is it's growing. Gorgeous. This is where I put my marker on here Monday night after I. Did my live. So, so I don't think you showed this to us last week. Don't think, maybe not. No, I don't think so. Get over closer. So, look at that. I know. So this is Loving Paths yarn. Oh, this is her wild child. Yes. It's beautiful. This color is pretty. Yeah. This has been my beach knitting on the weekends when That's I've been perfect. going to the beach. Because I can do it. I don't need to have a pattern. I can just read my stitches. Uh -huh. And you know, what's really crazy about this, for, I mean, not crazy crazy, but different for me. For some reason, I started knitting from this cake from the outside. Oh. Which I never ever do. 
<laughs> so I because I always like feeling my ball right and feeling that squishy when you're getting the center knit up. And it's coming out. Yeah. And there's no squishy to this because I just uh, I'm knitting from the outside, which I don't actually mind. But anyways, super easy pattern. I was gonna say it looks like it's easy. Easy, easy, easy. Look at that. I know, isn't it? That is so pretty. My original plan for that was to do a little panel of the lace and then go into another stitch pattern and then do some more lace. But I am just having so much fun just knitting the lace. Yeah, but, you could have done some little garter rows in between yeah. or something, you know, like a little band, mm -hmm. but it's beautiful. I'm just loving doing it just that way. I put a one stitch I-cord on either edge. Mm -hmm. And um, so all it is is knits and yarn overs. Yep. Beautiful. And it's just the beginning and the end is just a little different with the eye cord and that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so pretty. And it's so yeah. squishy and soft. Yes, I love her yarn. Yeah, this is her 7525 high twist sock and it's really nice. That's so pretty. It's very nice. Greens. Yeah, it looks like a beachy sunset. Turquoisey and some sand mm -hmm. colors. And there, I'm surprised there might not actually be some real sand in here. Well, that's okay. Yeah, it shakes Nothing out. wrong with that. I know. I like it. I love it. This, I have to stop myself from knitting on this to work on other things. Yeah. It's one of those ones that I don't want it to end. I just want it to keep going. Yeah. Yep. So what about you? What else? I worked on my socks a little bit and mostly just Tuesday and Wednesday night. I didn't do any while we were, well, I was gone for a night and all we did was go fishing and had a campfire, go nice. to bed, went fishing, came home. <laughs> That's all right. So look at those stripes. I think I'm, I think I've got like a whole repeat because after the next row of black, I think it goes back down to like this per darker purple again. So. That's a really long repeat. Yeah. And what's the colorway of that? Uh, amethyst stripes. Patent curry? Yes. I saw some people in the Fiber Friends group. Was it Sabrina, who her husband bought her some yarn, and I think there was some patents crowing in there. And nice. Yeah. So we we came to the conclusion on uh, Knit Night Wednesday night that they we think they changed it. Well, I know, and somebody Trish else was said that with too, it right? Too, and she thought it was a lot um, felt a lot softer and. Somebody else left us a Fine. comment saying the same thing. Oh, they, did they have it They looked? thought it um, was finer as well. Yeah. Usually I try and keep a good look at comments <laughs> on YouTube, and it's been one of those weeks because, you know, I was away. Yeah, I know. Vacationing but, gets in the way, right? Yeah, and then we're going again I on know. Thursday. It's the long weekend yep. coming up. We're leaving Thursday, too, for the cottage. Can't yeah. wait. It's going to be fun. You inspired somebody else. Because over on my Wildflower Wool Instagram, I've been kind of asking daily questions, knitting questions, you know, what are you doing? What are you working on? What is, you know, whatever. And somebody said they were working on a Patton's Croy pair of socks, mid-century stripes, because you inspired them. I saw that comment. Yes. Yes. Because yes. you tagged me. I tagged you so yeah. you would see it. <laughs> I did. I know, because they're like, that's like the best colorway. I don't it know is what the, it is about it that I love. That orangey but, stripe. I know. Yeah. Blues. I, I, and, yep. Yeah, so Fun we went, stuff. I think I mentioned last week that uh, Saturday, Mom and I were going to get our kayaks. Yeah. So we got to use them this week and they were fantastic. But we did make a pit stop on the way up. Yes, because you were going through Shelburne, right? Yeah, yeah. we went to Wool and Silk and uh, I did buy a new ball of yarn. Oh, that is so pretty. Because you bought, you bought some of that, that's what, West Yorkshire Spinners? Yeah. You bought some of that when we were there on our retreat weekend, didn't you? Yes, I did. And have you, you haven't started it yet? Mm -mm. No, please no. No. You don't need to start before you buy more? What are you talking about? So can't wait. go in a yarn shop and not buy something. Quite cannot. So I bought one ball. Did you see, does she still have um, Debbie, the loving pack? She yes. has, She carries her yarn, doesn't she? And she Nikki does. Songbird Fibers. Yes. That's I know, really nice. and I mentioned to the girl that was working in there about how uh, it's nice to see local to us dyers in shops yeah, like that and stuff. Exactly. And my mom had to mention that I was a bag maker, and the girl's like, yeah, I thought you were uh, for, looked familiar. She goes, 
you're on the podcast with Wildflower World, Wildflower World, aren't you? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> That's but so she's, exciting. Yeah, she's seen me at shows before, too. So yes. That was kind of cool. I was like, somebody recognized me in the wild. That's weird. That's, a, <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. Yeah. So. Oh, I, I like, know. I love these gold. That is so pretty. The green. Yeah. So it's green, gold. Green, like, and then two-tone purple. Yeah. Yeah. Is there two and, shades of green in there too? Yeah, there it's is. Kind it's of gold, kind of gold, gold, green, and then a like a khaki. Yeah, that's really that dark nice. Dark color. Yeah, I like them. Ooh. I'm excited to see how they're gonna start. Me up. too. I was gonna say you should test that one on soon. <laughs> okay, with all your other ones. Yeah. That's nice. I yeah, gotta, I gotta finish those other ones. The uh, kindness sock. Yes, so, that's so, your like. Yeah, the zigzaggy ones. Zigzaggy. Get working on those so I can have another. I'm jealous. Empty, empty needle. I still think I'm jealous that you got to go back to Wool and Silk. Because we have only been there like whenever we go to the retreat house. Because yeah. it's not really... Well, it's like two hours away. <laughs> yeah. It's not like you're just going to jump in the car and just drive there on exactly. the Saturday afternoon. That's right. Well, you could. Well, could. You wanted, but... Could. But yeah, it's a really nice shop. It is. Really, it's nice. I bought more Q-snaps for uh, cross-stitch. Yeah, I got an eight inch. I got an eleven inch last time, so I took the last one, and then I came this time and I bought the eight inch last one. <laughs> oh well, but that's what they're there for. Just so I can start more cross stitch if I want to. Why not? Okay, well I'm getting all geared up for our October challenge. Our, you know, the the crafting, pick a craft you haven't done in a while or something that you've never oh, tried. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I want, well, I mean, you guys all know my list is so long. I mean, I could list off easily probably 12, 15 things that mm -hmm. I want to do. But you know what I really, really want to do is get back to my English paper piecing. I have not done that in, well, haven't done it since I've, before the pandemic. So that's been at yeah. least two years. So that's maybe at least three I nice. did quite a bit of it at one point, and uh, it's probably been three or four years now since I touched it. But I have a little, a little bag in there. The so do I, I actually have one of your bags, one of those divided oh, with yeah, the zippers. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's what I put. I, I, I pulled it out last night at like three in the morning. I could not sleep. Oh no. So I know. So I got up and I thought, where is that bag? And so I started looking. I found it. And I actually pulled out some boxes that had some fat quarters in them, and I started sorting those out. Yeah, I bought um, I bought a bunch of different uh, shapes and whatnot. At one point, too, there's a really lovely um, quilt shop in Shakespeare, and she carries a lot of the templates Does and stuff. She? So I had picked up a bunch, but I was just doing the octagon ones. Um, yeah, and making because I like the flowers. I do too. Yeah, I've got the one inch, and then I got a bigger one. So I'm not sure if maybe it's a two inch. Yeah, but I've got some different shapes too: hexagons yep. and diamonds and triangles. Yes, the two inch are the ones that I was doing. Was it? And uh, if you need any uh, fabric, <laughs> all my little two and a half inch squares I cut out of the bottom of my bags. I have a whole big bin of them. I saved them. All. I can't throw you them. You know away. what? I think you gave me a bag of those once before. Mm -hmm. I wonder where I've stuffed that. <laughs> Somewhere. I should go find that. But, but anyway, yeah. yeah, so I'm getting excited Maybe for I'll that. get some of them out too, because they're so nice to just sit and hand sew. I love hand. I like doing that. Yeah. I worked a little bit more on my beach glass. That looks nice. Yeah. Because I think last time you showed that, it was just weeny. Just teeny tiny? Yep. There it is. And there again, I decided to just do one pattern. Mm -hmm. I was going to make this like a sampler mm -hmm. with different textures. So it's going to go a little bit diagonal, right? Because of the way the stitch yeah, pattern goes. Yeah, because of the way the stitch goes. That's okay. You can see it starting to, yep. Angle. to go off there. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to Keep embrace going. that and just let it do its biasing yep. and see what we come up with. So, so I, you haven't done a full repeat yet, right? I am just... I at the think. end of the light yeah and then, and then I, it goes to the brown again yeah now this is a ball i should have started i gotta remember this next time these karen cakes 
should really so start. So soft. I know, isn't it? Should start from the outside. Should start so on the outside. Yeah. Because it's such a big cake, and then once you once you knit that centerpiece, then it really collapses in on itself. Yeah. But I am just getting. Once I do two more, four more rows, that should use up the rest of this. Yeah. This you almost like need like a green. little bucket bag, like one of these, to put it in. Yeah. <laughs> to so hold it, it. it'll just hold it. I know, and because I'm afraid it's. I, I. This is just making me want to knit faster. So I can knit it all before it all tangles. Yeah. So once you figure out how uh, how far you got with a full repeat, you know how far you'll get with a whole ball. You well, can count this. You know what I I I kind of already done this. There was I think there were seventeen stripes to begin with, and each one of my pattern rows looks about an inch, inch and a quarter. But oh, you were good, an inch and a quarter. Yeah, inch and a quarter. So I figured inch and a quarter times 17 stripes because this is the same as like your sock here in there yep. where it's two shades right there's two shades of the brown mm -hmm. two shades of the green and then there's white so i counted all of these i'm sure there was 17 times an inch and a quarter was 21.6 inches or something mm -hmm. like that it's close to 22. so it'll get to be like 40 some odd inches long. Yes. Two, you got With two balls. Two balls. But I went back and I bought a third. Good. Yeah. Because I really want it to be. Yeah. I was going to say four is not going to be huge. Wingspan. Like tip, yep. fingertip to fingertip. Mm -hmm. Hard to do this. But you know what I mean. Arm stretched out. Yeah. Is about 60 inches. At least for me, anyways. Yeah. It's the width of a tape measure. So I did. I went back, went to the other mic. This is supposed to be your height. From fingertip oh, to fingertip is. is how tall you are. I love weird math things I like know. that. Did we we talked about the hat so I get thing? Five today. feet six inches. Do you? Yeah. Oh, see, I'm probably I'm I short. Think, I, no, I'm okay. I never uh, seriously. I never thought I was short. I have gone my whole life until the last few, maybe three or four years, thinking I was average. I never thought of myself as short until a woman that I work with. One of my clients, she keeps telling me I'm short. Like, what? I never thought I was short. Now I have a short complex. <laughs> I always thought that I was tall because I was, you know, five. Well, I've shrunk a bit. In high school, I was about five seven. But all of my friends and my whole like family are all shorter than me. Everyone. So I always felt I was tall. Well, I'm really not that tall. Like my kids are five nine and five ten. So my girls. I. I never thought you were tall. I just always thought we were yeah. the same. I don't know. How tall are you? I'm, oh, maybe only 5'4". <laughs> That's okay. I don't know. I just never thought I was short. You're really not Well, maybe short. that maybe that works out. not as tall as some other people. I don't know. I guess it was too late in life to worry about that now, right? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, we made it this far. <laughs> Anyways, it'll work out good for my knitting anyways. Yeah. That means I have a few inches less to go. Mm -hmm. So I went to the other Michaels on the other end of the city because I had stopped in there before and I had seen they had a bunch of them, of these balls. Oh, you should have told me because I was just there. Were you? Because, oh. the, yeah, the one closest to me, they only had the, the two that I bought. But um, in my travels, I stopped in there. And I saw they had, they had a whole bunch, so I wasn't more too worried. Mm -hmm. Then I went home and I figured out the math and realized I needed another ball. So the next time I was in that end of town, I stopped and bought one. There you go. So you have lots now. Yes. That's good. Yep. Don't this have to worry beautiful. about running. It's so soft. I know. Sorry. I have to feel everything <laughs> on my face. I had okay. shower today. Okay. <laughs> it is really nice, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Cotton, right? It's cotton and acrylic. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And Susanna said that she sent a bunch of this yarn to Jocelyn, and Jocelyn made a top or is making a top out of it. I have to stop being a yarn snob because I don't ever buy, like, well, I shouldn't say I never buy commercially made yarn, but not, not very often. No. Do I, like, for bigger projects? I just like to, uh, I don't know, I buy it all. I buy it all. And Louise I bought a new not needle. A yarn snob. No. She loves all yarn. Equally. Even yes. plastic yarn. <laughs> the only thing that I I think I can say this 
truthfully, and I don't think I'd ever go back on this, Fentex. I don't. I know you said you have some, right? Yes, down oh. the, it's down the basement. I think that's the only yarn that I actually... I don't know if I actually threw it away or gave it to Goodwill. I was gonna, I was gonna, it's like I the probably same green Goodwill. color as I my, uh, yeah, my sparkle stuff. And I was gonna make, um, the round crocheted scrubbies with it. Yeah. It would work. It would work. Well, and I think some people probably do. So do the that. ones that I had seen a long time ago, they were crocheted with strips of, tool like the fabric like yes, tool fabric yes. and cut yep. it into strips it into and strips. crochet and I'm yep. like I am not doing that <laughs> but I would do it with Fentex. <laughs> we cut some of the tool we did this at our, our knit our Thursday knitting group <clears throat> years ago. I remember going to Fabricland and buying tool and I think it comes I was gonna say it reminded me of sand like sandpaper like sandpaper and the fact that doesn't it come in like different thicknesses or coarsenesses? Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of like sandpaper does, right? So I was buying different ones and then we had yeah, one of Evelyn, she was cutting it cutting it into strips and then I guess we just like knotted it together to make a big long Yeah, and when you people pull it were, it'll stretch out and kind of the ends will roll in and Yeah. Yeah, I think we still have some of that that didn't get used in a bag somewhere. Yuck. Oh, fun. <laughs> Things, yeah, I know, interesting. Fun. So, okay, so I want to know. Leave me a comment down below. Who uses Fentex? Anybody, anybody? Are you like, Cheryl, do you still have some of your stuff? I can honestly say that was the stuff I got rid of. Without hesitation, just gone. That stuff is just, it. it is so like fingernails on a chalkboard to me. Like, I don't like the feel of it. Yep. No. It is kind of gross. It is. The sparkly stuff is way nicer. It was like a two pack that I got at oh. uh, Spin Ray. Yeah. Walmart sells it too as slipper yarn. What? I think that's how they, they have it labeled slipper yarn. I think I mentioned last time, you know, like if you took them to the dump or mm. they went in the garbage, there are probably still ones from the 70s that are intact. I know. Probably I'm get them sure. out wash them and wear them. <laughs> I think you probably could. I know, it's just, I just, oh, no. I will stick with my, I have a newfound love of the scrubby sparkle. They better not ever discontinue it. Yeah, that's great. I think I'll, I'll just, I need to stock up. I'm kind of having fun making these yeah. little things. Yeah, because I made the first one I made Wednesday night. I can't wait to stick these in my Christmas box because I'm assuming, hopefully, that we'll be able to have Christmas this year. We had Christmas outside last year, believe it or not. Well, because it was my brother-in-law's. Yes. We knew it would be his last Christmas with us. So we got together outside at the front porch and it was snowing like crazy. And we put up... Um, I took our patio umbrella and I put it up and my sister got hers out and we were out on the front porch for about an hour and we exchanged gifts yeah. and you know that stuff outside so yeah we'll be able to have Christmas this year. Yeah I think so. So I have to get out my Christmas box. Boy I literally will probably have to dust it off. I haven't used yeah. it. Our family, I think all of us in our immediate family, like me and my kids and my sister and her kids and my parents are all double vaccinated. Yeah. So we all are as long too. as we're all pretty careful, then. Yep. We sh things should be a go. <clears throat> oh, that makes me happy to think about pulling up my Christmas box. I can start putting things in there. Mm -hmm. I love, it makes me so happy to be able to go around well lots of times I, I get one of the kids to do it because I think they like doing it and they'll take the box and they'll go person to person and people can dig through it and, oh, and let them pick out and what just, they want yep so oh, I don't awesome don't idea. wrap it and gift it and I found I have to show it to you when it gets closer to Christmas but at winners a few years ago one of those you know fancy boxes but it has a rounded top like a chest kind of oh, yeah, like a okay. treasure chest yep. kind of thing and it has Santa Christmassy decoration on it so it's not super huge I would if I could ever find a bigger one I would probably get a bigger one mm -hmm. but it works nice yeah that is the greatest idea ever yep. so you put hats and mitts and scarves and whatever whatever I have in there yep 
and then everybody can just pick something. That's the best idea ever. I um, I haven't done any Christmas knitting in a long time. I usually, I always make something handmade for my nieces because you know I made them last last year. I remember. No, what I you... didn't. The year before, I made them um, bags for school. Really nice bags like, for school. Like, they were like a, okay, so a larger like a messenger bag yeah, kind yeah. of deal. Yeah, they were really nice. Um, I had knit them cowls and made them other bags. I think every year they just kind of know they're going to get something gonna get handmade something. for me at Cheryl. I hope they like it, but never know. know. Oh, I'm just, those bags, <laughs> I remember seeing those bags and they were. Yeah, they were nice. They were nice. Um, yeah, so this year everybody's going to definitely get some scrubbies. I really want. To, I should. Yes. yes, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a whole bunch and just put them in there because it's something everybody can use. Mm -hmm. And I know my cousin said to me one year she was excited. She's like, oh, cause she's seen the box come out. She's like, oh, I'm gonna get a new dishcloth. But she said, I I need some new ones. You know, last year's are all looking. You know, how dishcloths get after you've washed yeah. and used them, and which is perfect because I want people to use them, and then when they get. What's, what's the word? Um, worn out. Slightly worn out. Yeah, just toss them because they're cotton, so they should. Biodegrade. Yeah. Environmentally friendly, ho well, hopefully. Yeah. Somewhat. Cotton, I think the well, processing know, of cotton is after not After a while, so much, you can just bleach them out. Yeah. They start to fall apart after a while. Yeah. They get holes in them or yeah. you wash a sharp knife and you cut a stitch or... <sighs> I know. Anyways, but that's what you make new ones for, right? So then people can get a restock of them. So I'm I'm excited for them to see the sparkly and see what their reaction is. But the one year I did hats for everybody. That was fun. Mm -hmm. I wonder what my family thought of that though, because the guys all got hats too, right? And but yeah, I thought, everybody needs to keep their hat mm -hmm. their head warm at some point in the winter. Go out and shovel snow or yep. whatever. So sure. I, I, that I may do because that was a couple years ago. So probably everybody needs a new hat now. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. And then we lined, got everybody all, we did a big group picture of everybody with their hats on. Yeah. I did hats for everybody about three years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're due for more then. Maybe. I have a feeling <laughs> they get tossed somewhere and don't get worn. But you know what? I don't worry about that anymore. Because as a maker, you do it for you. Yeah. You know, the fun and the joy and the excitement you get of picking out the the yarn and deciding on the yeah. pattern and the making of it. And because honestly, mm -hmm. I think about that Christmas and I think about that family picture with everybody wearing their hats. And it makes me super happy when I think about it and when I see that picture. So that is where, even if they don't wear the hats ever again, just alone for how I feel about mm -hmm. it, is yeah. that's all you can do. You can't worry about what other people, when they get For home, sure. they're like, oh my God, she knit me another hat. <laughs> well, I think I will uh, reconsider what yarn I use for making them because, you know, my my sister is not the best at thinking about these she things. She shrunk and something, didn't she? She threw Kirk's hat in the washer and it was wool and it yeah. turned out like baby sized. <laughs> I know, you know what, I made all my hats out of, um, oh sure, now I just lost the name of it, from Michael's Thick and Quick, Thick oh, and yeah, Quick yeah. I think was what I had, um, and I figured what I used, a size 7, 7 or 8 millimeter needle, yeah, no, I need scissors, it was quick, and you can wash and wear, and it's cheap enough if, if they lose it, you know, whatever, yep, you just, uh, Make another one the next year. There, I got two. Now. You got two done? Yeah. I'm just oh, like, I need to cut my hair. See, and I'm just doing a yarn over, knit two together. I think I'll make blue ones next. Oh, excuse what do you me, have? reaching again. So I have some blue sparkle and this. Pretty. So I think I'll throw those together. So did you show both of your colors with that one? With this one? Yeah. Did you show the both? Because I'm last really- Last week, I can't remember now. I'm really surprised. So that's the apple or whatever it's called. Avocado. Avocado. 
should be called apple. It should really. This one's called green tea scrubby. Uh, they, don't I, look, they don't look that good together when you hold them like this, but when you... It just blends together, doesn't yeah. it? Like you don't get that real bright, bright green of the avocado. Yeah. It turned out really nice together. Mm -hmm. I like it. I love how the names of all the scrubby are yeah. food-based. Because you're going to use it in the kitchen as a scrubby, right? So it's yeah. avocado, strawberry, oh, this watermelon, ice pop. ice pop. I don't know what the yellow is, though. Lemon? I think it was lemon. Yeah. I think it was I mean, a boring be... color. It was like so obvious they didn't get very... Uh, <laughs> didn't get very creative. Green but what, what else one. is yellow in the kitchen, though, other than the lemon? True. It is a food. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I think I'll do so, a couple of blue ones next. Pretty. Just for fun. Yep. So I did a little bit more stitching on my little cat. He's got a little bit more of a body. I gotta come along now, and now his tail comes up here and curls. Oh. And then I just have to do a spider and the spider web on here. I'll have him done next week. Oh no, because we're recording again on Sunday. I might have him done yeah. by Sunday. Who knows? Maybe I'll start mine. Sure. Or not. It'll be a mystery. Will oh, Louise my, start? My hand dyed <laughs> fabric. It is so pretty. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna do some more sometime soon. It's all sitting right there. <laughs> Still. Hey, I see bags. Do we get to see bags? Oh, yes. I have a couple new Knit Night bags. You guys are going to love these. I don't know which one I like better. I finished these last night, right? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. I have to say, I am really appreciating having these rings on all of my bags now. Well, you can just hang whatever you want off them. I just put on because they look cool. <laughs> I, but you could hook your stitch markers or something or your keys or whatever. I've been putting my keys on yeah. all of my bags. So these have the metal frame in them. They open up like a doctor bag and then they zippered pocket. And... Look at that. That one's really nice. Canvas on the bottom. So that would yeah. wear really well on it. Oh yeah, that's really nice yeah. and heavy. I like using natural fiber fabrics. Cotton canvas, cotton duck cloth, the handles are cotton webbing, the inside is 100% cotton lining. The only thing that's not cotton in this bag is the thread and my zippers. And my label, because like it's like a taffeta or something, but yeah. That one's really pretty. So we got that one done. This one's really nice too. And this is another knitting themed bag. I love that. With the black canvas. Look at that other little sheep. They're so cute. So what's it say? Knitting stitch. It says knitting is my happy place, knitting. I think. Knitting is love. Hand knitter. Yarn. That's nice. Does that say peace? Yeah. Peace, love. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, the, the fabric is two directions, so I put one side one way and one side the other just so you could. But the little sheep are so cute, and they're wearing sweaters, and they got scarves oh, on. He's got a scarf. Yeah. They're adorable. That gray, is sweet. Gray lining with red zipper inside. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I love it. I always like looking in the bags to see what, if the, if the fabric is patterned or plain mm -hmm. or like the, the zipper to see what color it is. It's like a little surprise yeah, inside. I always use just plain fabric on the inside. Keep all the fun stuff for the yeah. inside. I don't know why, but I do. Well, you know what? That I actually like that because then you can find your stuff in your bag easier. It doesn't yeah. get Try lost. Try to keep it a lighter color inside. Yeah. For sure. So yeah, That's those really are the sweet. two new ones. I got pictures already taken. I'm going to get those up on the website later today and I do have some new uh, stitch markers too. Those ones oh, up. yeah. Where did I put them? I hung them up. I uh, did these a little while ago. They're more of a semi precious, I can't tell you what they are now, I forget. Um, Oh, oh, and, oh, those are pretty. Yeah, I don't remember. These are a blue crackle I gate or something. Oh, 
Oh, some glass butterflies. These are mother of pearl gray. Probably hard to see them through the package. I open can't open them. Can I open them? I, I sure. really want to have a closer look at this one. That's pretty. So how many is there on here? One, two, three, six. four, five, six. I think these ones are amethyst. That's really pretty. Yeah. And then some stripey. These are just resin beads, but they're fun. There's a few other ones I bought some more. I haven't got them done yet. But, uh, and are these making their debut? Do these go on the website or are these for anticipation of the Woodstock? No, no, Woodstock? they're on. I already listed them in my oh, Etsy shop. Okay. I just haven't listed them on the website yet. Okay. Those are, I like the semi-precious, yeah. knowing that it is a, um, an actual crystal, mm -hmm. not just plastic. I, I really like yeah, that. for sure. Very yeah. nice. You have been busy. Yeah. Busy, busy. Yeah, I love the knee bags. Some more coming soon. I gotta get some, um, I have a couple of Halloween prints I wanna do just oh, for some. Oh my goodness. Probably Halloween. just some sock bags or something. I'm feeling the fall vibes now. Mm -hmm. As much Sorry. as I like, I want to really drag summer. I keep saying that all the time, right? I want the long weekend to be nice. It's gonna be cooler, which is gonna be good because it has been a heat oh, wave here brutal. this week. Crazy yeah, hot. Yeah, over like 30 degrees Celsius before the humidex every day. Oh, my, the temperature in my car was 35 yesterday. The outside temperature was 35 mm -hmm. before the humidity. Yeah, it was. Um, so that's about 90 degrees. I think it's supposed to drop off on Sunday, I think. Yeah. And then we're going to have some nice, normal, you know, 23, 24, 25, <sighs> cooler at night. It'll be that you can breathe. For camping. Yeah, exactly. Perfect for being on the lake because it was brutally hot <laughs> when we were out yeah. on Sunday and Monday. Yep. Well, I did, it was nice. I, I went to the beach on um, Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I had those days off. So I just headed to the beach because it was so hot at home. Oh, you get such a nice breeze. The breeze coming. was beautiful. It just, it made it bearable. But um, pay attention. Don't want to mess up my lace. And slip, last stitch, ta-da. I just love this. I cannot wait to wear this. Yeah, it's gonna be so nice and it just looks so light and it's gonna be nice and drapey mm -hmm. and just be perfect. And I have a plan for the end when I, so it's just an asymmetrical, so mm -hmm. as it, when it gets up to the really wide part, I have a plan for the, for the last little for bit. the end little bit, just to make it a little different. Mm -hmm. Yes, fun stuff. I can't, can't, I can't wait to wear it, but then it'll be done, but I don't know. I've got so much to knit. I start, oh, I was gonna say about the fall thing. I started a fall colored project for my new start Monday this week. Oh, nice. It is green, orange, and purple. Ooh. Mm -hmm. it has a Halloween-y look with the purple in there. It's like my socks. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why purple's the new Halloween color. I don't know either, Seems right? like it, right? It does. Yeah, orange and black. Mm. I know. I'm, I'm starting to think about all the new fall things can knit. Maybe starting even next week. Mm -hmm. Fun stuff. And then we have to get ready for our next challenge for making yes, snowflakes. snowflakes. I found a crochet hook already when I was oh, did you find one? digging through some stuff. <laughs> I found a crochet hook. It's a size, I think it's like a 4.5 millimeter. Yeah, way too big probably. Well, yeah. but it'd be good for worsted weight. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. All right, Carol is gonna have a <laughs> snowflake that's this big. You'll have to fold it up five times to fit it in the card. <laughs> Trying to lick okay. the envelope. <laughs> okay, barely I do some more looking. <laughs> I have tons, it's okay. Oh, I've got tons too. Oh. For somebody who doesn't crochet, <laughs> I have got a whole shelf of how-to crochet books and I've got tons of crochet hooks. 
so I just gotta do some looking. But yeah, September 10th is the Friday. Mm -hmm. Snowflake. So next week when we pod, when you watch next week, yes, that's kind. Of, this is just gonna totally mess me up because, like you said, we're gonna record again in two days. Yes, for next week. for the following week because we are both gonna be enjoying the long weekend away mm -hmm. on the water somewhere. So we're gonna pre-record. So maybe we'll talk. We can talk more about snowflakes then. Maybe I I can bring some supplies and you can tell me if I'm on the right track or not. Okay. I think, you're, I think I'm coming to your house on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. That's even better. Okay. Then I, I'll just have it all there. Some of it anyways. Because, yeah, because you, you said you were going to give me I'll a help, yeah. little um, lesson to get me going. Okay. I'm going to hold you to that. Because it could be very hilarious. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be good. Snowflakes are, it'll be round and pointy. It'll be, it'll be good. That's all that yeah. matters. Pretty excited. We've been talking about the snowflake challenge for a while and it is here. Almost another week or two weeks. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Okay. Well, I think that's all. I think that's I it. I think we're going to be under an hour. Look at that. Look at that. Like 42 minutes 40 or something. Minutes. Fantastic. Sorry for well, all we of you that like to sit and, you know, have your morning coffee and, and watch us for an hour or so. Well, I asked, that was one of my questions on my Instagram stories was, what is your favorite length for a podcast? Mm -hmm. And it was anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour. Most people didn't like them over an hour. So I think we're right on track. I think we're doing good. Okay. Well, then. I guess we'll That's say it. goodbye until next time. Yeah, until next time. Then we'll show you some more stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, happy knitting, everybody. Have a great week. Bye. See ya.